Where did you go? Oh, 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 oh. I wanna. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, where did you go, my lovely? XPS 15, where did you go? All right, champs, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom. It's Windows Pro time. Yes. Where did you go, my lovely XPS 15? I sold my XPS 15 at the end of uh, December, thinking there's going to be a new one at CES. going to be announced, going to be a new one maybe in February, and that just shows you. Yeah, well, I sort of got screwed there, and now I'm without an XPS 15 for so long. Well, will it be so long? Actually, I expect it to drop probably before summer, maybe summer, US, of course, here. In Australia, winter. Now, there is going to be an XPS 15 with a OLED in March. So that's coming very soon. So what do we expect from the new XPS 15? I'm going to go through what I expect versus what I would like to see. And I would like to know what you'd like to see in the comments. And hey, let's play the guessing game. When do you think it's going to be out? And what do you think is going to be in it? So the XPS 15 I have had since 2015. I've had every single model. Probably my favorite laptop, the GOAT. And in 2015, the XPS 15 did set the benchmark. Now everybody's caught up, okay? And there's a lot of brilliant thin and light 15 inch laptops whether they're sort of gaming ones like you know the Razer and Aero and etc or like even the MacBook Pros are really good now with the 6 core and the Vega 20 and soon to be reviewed the X1 Extreme which I will have a review at soon is actually setting some benchmarks itself in certain areas like you know the best keyboard has two m.2 slots and um, yeah there's a lot of great things about that actually two thunderbolt threes awesome so i would say overall still today if you encompass everything you know value upgradability support it's hard to beat the xps 15 still today but they've got to go again they've got to go hard and they've got to you know set another benchmark because at the moment it will come down to personal preference so i don't mind if they release it a little bit later as long as they get it right now there was a rumor that you know dell were a little bit behind with the alienwares in terms of you know thin and light 15 inch gaming laptop so they actually pulled people from the xps team who would, you know, usually work on the XPS 15 and got these guys to actually work on the Alienware M15 and M17, which have just dropped recently. And yeah, they could be used as a 15-inch content creation game slash gaming sort of setup too, I guess. And I've seriously been thinking about that, especially now you can get them with RTX graphics. And I don't think the next XPS 15 will have RTX graphics, although I'd love to be surprised in this regard. Because you've got to remember, with RTX graphics now, you can actually decode red raw footage on the fly in your video editor like even a, like a beast system you know with 14 20 cores whatever and you know multiple graphics cards could not do that until they actually released a driver for rtx graphics cards to actually decode red footage so it'd be amazing that you could actually edit red raw footage in a laptop with rtx graphics and i will cover that when i review some of these rtx laptops but usually the xps 15 does not come out with you know 1060 or above you know, recently it's had a 1050, 1050 Ti, and in the 9550, it had a mobile 965 graphics. So it'd be friggin' awesome if they fit an RTX 2060 into it, but I'm not going to hold my breath in that regard. It may be one of these 2050s, whatever Nvidia is going to announce soon. I think it's more likely to have that sort of graphics card rather than an RTX 2060, which may mean, me personally, I might be looking at an RTX laptop for my next laptop and it may just be the Alienware Aero maybe something like that I don't know I'm going to have to wait and see what the XPS 15 is offering so I don't expect RTX graphics I'd like to be surprised maybe just the one lower whatever Nvidia is going to release and they may be waiting for that now I think it will come out with the ninth generation CPU so maybe they're waiting until them or maybe they're just a bit behind because those XPS guys were busy with the Alienware M15. I expect the design to sort of be like the current XPS 13. I expect maybe it's going to have that webcam module up the top, a little bit of thicker bezel up the top. I expect it to be maybe thinner, lighter. Just come on, Dell. Two Thunderbolt 3 ports. You need two Thunderbolt 3 ports. I, I'm telling you, you need two Thunderbolt 3 ports and two M.2 slots. Come on, you need that too. This is a must. I've seen laptops with two thunderbolt three ports and i'm seeing them with two m.2 slots that's what i want personally let me know if that's what you want give me that thumbs up make them here other than that 
SD card full size, SD card full size, please, please, please. And when it comes to displays, I would like to see brighter displays, 500 nit displays, HDR option, that would be awesome, 4K, I don't even care. Even go down to 1440p if you have to do a HDR option, I'm not bothered, but just give us the brightness, give us the HDR just as an option. They're gonna have OLED, so that's gonna be friggin' awesome. We'll see how good that OLED is. Some good displays, we wanna see the, you know, go up to the next level. I mean, the Dell's display now currently is one of the best, so it's hard to beat that, but we need to set the new benchmark with the XPS 15. Now, in all honesty, I don't really care if it actually kept the same form factor, as long as they updated the cooling, updated the internals, you know, two Thunderbolt 3s, two M.2s, new display, and I would be happy just like that. So I wouldn't even care if they didn't change the design, if they just changed those few things there. And I would really like to see a 16 by 10 or three by two display now this is not going to happen there's no way i doubt it very much this is like one percent chance of happening but you know one percent hey we can still hope i'd love to see a taller display but the reality is the reason why they use 16 by 9 displays is they're easier to get they're cheaper that's basically what it comes down to these guys are in the business of making money let me know now now i'm going to leave a poll do you want a 16 by 10 or 3 by 2 versus 16 by 9 actually the tech chap done this exact poll i'm thinking that most people want the three by two. So hopefully, so let me know in that poll. Other than what I've covered there, my wishes, my hopes, we're gonna have to wait to see, but you know, if you're interested in the next XPS 15, you know you need to sub to my channel. I've sold countless amount of these and a lot of people have thanked me for recommending these. Millions of views on the XPS 15. So I'm the go-to guy with the XPS 15. You would have thought they would have um, sent me one by now. Dell, Dell, come on. Why didn't you send me one? But you know I'm going to buy it anyway, unless they really screw it up. And then I might be looking at you know, some RTX laptop. So anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know in the comments what you think the XPS 15 should be. Um, I can't wait. I'm checking every day, any rumor I can find. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.